we have some really exciting news for our YouTube viewers, so keep watching to the end and find out what it is. You can't really see it but over there is the sun the sun's coming up and it all looks great when you look east but uh, when you look south well i'm turning the camera around but you can't see anything uh, we have uh, literally 180 degrees worth of uh, squalls around behind us uh, we decided just to go ahead and push on interesting to note that uh, we just passed a um, fishing boat that was at anchor without its lights on Well, it's always nice to see the sun come up, especially when you've just been spending the last two hours watching the thunder and lightning all the way around you in the dark, not quite sure what's going on, can't get any reception, so we can't see any weather forecasts uh, yet. But there it is, the sun, officially up in five minutes, but we've got uh, plenty of light to see now. But this all looks very nice behind me. But I'll just pan round to Jamie and you can see what's behind Jamie. <laughs> horrible. Really horrible. And we think it could be coming from the northwest to the southeast, which means it's going to come across like this. Well, I guess it doesn't need to be said, but I'll say it anyway, just in case some of you aren't aware. Uh, the reason why we're so um, reticent, hesitant, cautious about going into... Oof, it's one of the hazards of vlogging while sailing. Wasn't keeping an eye on that. I managed to mow down... Well, it was one of those marker boy things, but it had a net. I don't know if you can see this, but all along there our floats and that is an, a, a net that runs I don't know a few hundred meters along and his little flag thing indicated the end of it which we just ran over the reason why we are um, worried about going through storms is because we have these things two great big lightning conductors and if lightning is going to hit anything at sea out here it'll be these I don't know the statistics exactly for the number of lightning strikes on sailboats but in this part of the world it's pretty big so that is why when we see stuff like this we do get a little bit nervous two things can happen when you get a lightning strike the first is that it will take out your electrics but more importantly perhaps more dangerously is it can blow out your through hole fittings which will sink the boat of course I'll go through this uh, navigation system in more detail at a later date but just wanted to show you as so I wobble around here this is showing two knots of current against us which is why we're doing 3.6 over ground with 1500 rpm so it shows you that big tidal influence and we can see that again if we go to our info page uh, you can see the boat speed so that's the log underneath the water um, that's boat speed through the water not speed over ground so you can see 3.6 over ground, but 5.4 through the water. And that's two knots of current against us, so battling a bit here. Well, I don't want to speak out a turn, but it looks like that storm is passing in front of us. I noticed that on the radar. A bit deceptive because it looks like it was coming in from the side, but when you look at the radar, it was actually going down the outside of us and you can see okay there's more going on up there which is which will be coming down but look you can almost see blue sky there 
and that's the uh, the clouds going all the way around there heading south a little bit of sunshine there but you can see also that was the front so that's passed over the top of us like that but it looks like that heaviest bit which had a lot of lightning and thunder has uh, has disappeared so that's good that's also good one happy little pussy cat It's a long, long, hot, windless motor, 60 odd miles from uh, Rimo to Pancor. So, having dodged a few storms earlier, we're now trying to decide what to do. And obviously, it's a good time to get a few jobs done. And we've got ourselves a sunshade. We bought this netting in Langkawi, and Jamie decided to get out and do it while we're going. Why not? The old, beautiful, fitted. Shade came off in a storm, I think day two or three. But at least now we've got some cover and we're not sitting here frying. Well, it's been a bit of a slog today. Um, right up until now, there has been no wind pretty much flat calm um, we have the tide against us we now have the tide with us so we're actually motoring at seven knots and one of the reasons why I haven't dropped the speed is because we've just been in touch with James uh, the Pancor Marina manager who says he has a spot for us now he's very busy at this time of year he's got the rally coming through and he said if we don't grab it someone else is going to take it so we are racing to get there hopefully we should have um, high water because you need uh, rising tide to get into the little channel towards the marina and he should have some staff there that should help us so uh, yeah it's a shame we didn't get any sailing in today but um, you know this is really a, um, an exercise in not sailing but a little bit more mo boat maintenance and that's the solar panels as we've mentioned we're not going to bore you with weeks and weeks in a marina but we do have to fit the panels and that's why we're heading in today <music> busy port of uh, Pankor Island behind which is what the banging noises in the engines is uh, but over there straight through there is the marina and I've <laughs> got stuck behind this tug I've slowed right down waiting for him to move I prefer to go behind him than in front of him um, the entrance is really to be hit sort of head-on at due east so uh, I'm coming at an, at an angle so I just want him to clear out the way so I can then power forward and get across. It gets quite shallow as well. And the other bit of fun and games once uh, he's gone past are the ferries. So they run regular ferries uh, from mainland which is where the marine is. Well you call it mainland it's actually a man-made island. Uh, of uh, Lamut sort of area. This is Pankor Island so they run these ferries in between the two and these steam past at quite a speed so I want to try and avoid these as well. But I think we're ready to uh, take that turn now. We begin this morning with a now dry cat. Someone appeared at three o'clock in the morning, soaking wet. Went for a little swim, didn't you Mills? Yes. Right, this morning we are off to have a look at our solar panel and arrange for someone to come and deliver it for us because it's rather heavy. So I'm gonna go up to the office now and see the girls in the office. 
So as you know, we have decided to get another three solar panels mounted onto Esper, which means that we quadruple our power, which is very exciting. Um, the first thing we're gonna do this morning is pick up the large ones. So we've got one that sits at the back, and that's uh, 325 watt. Um, it's pretty big, it's too big for me to manage myself, so I'm probably gonna have to get some of the boys to help me carry it. We're gonna at least uh, offer it up into its um, cradle, its uh, frame, I should say, uh, because uh, we wanna make sure that it fits before we start um, wiring it up. So uh, it's sitting in storage by the marina office. So let's go and have a look. Here we go. Nice big fragile written on the big one. And those are our, the other two, which are the two 240 watt panels. We'll get this one down first. Okay. Uh, and I'll worry about these tomorrow, I think. So, uh, yeah. A bit yeah. Just be nice and gentle with it. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's great. So, we've got an hour to kill uh, before the boys who are currently handling a boat coming in, I think, they're going to come and give us a hand. So, got an appointment at 10.30 to offer up that first panel. Had a look at the other panels. Um, interesting looking at the frames to see how they're going to fit on the frames that we have built seems as if they can only be bolted uh, along the longer edge, not along the sides, but um, I don't think that should be a problem. I worry about that tomorrow. The main thing is getting this first one in today. Uh, the second two is going to be a bit more involved because there's a bit more wiring to do with that because I'm using the old wiring from the old panels. So uh, anyway, we now have one hour left, which gives me an opportunity to chat with Rod and Heather, who are aboard uh, Catamaran Psychopus who, turns out, did the Sumatra trip earlier this year that Liz and I are planning to do next year. So they've very kindly offered to hopefully give us a coffee so we can wake up and have a talk about uh, various anchorages and tips and tricks about how to negotiate that uh, west coast of Sumatra. we are we're going to Sumatra some of you may already know that it's now only eight weeks or so till launch date but enough of that on to the exciting news that we mentioned at the beginning of the episode and it is Liz well there are two there are two bits of exciting news oh aren't yeah there? there are yeah shall I tell him the first one yeah okay go for the first okay, one okay the first one is really exciting we are going to really from January we're going to start opening Esper up for visits yeah to our YouTube viewers. Yes, our followers. That's you. That's you. You could be on Esper. Why would you not do that? I know. Well, <laughs> have a, you, you, we'll tell you more about it in a forthcoming extra. But we just wanted to let you know because we are so excited. This is a real big departure for us. We're not just going to do it once. We want to roll it on and make it a regular thing and get some of you guys on the boat with us. Yep, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you get the update when we bring out this section. We're gonna try and bring it out hopefully before Christmas, I think, yeah. just to give you some more details. Okay, the other exciting news is our shop. We have a whole load new designs yes. and various things for sale. And we figured, you know, since it's coming up to Christmas, you guys might be looking for some stocking fillers or just some Christmassy ideas. And just to reward you, we thought we'd put out some new designs yeah. and a little discount code as yeah. well, which I think we're going to run for probably the whole of December. Yes. So you've so. got all December to go and check them out. Uh, so what's new? Bags. We've got drawstring bags, which I'm absolutely crazy for. Mm. I love them. Oh, and mugs. 
Not just two or three, we've got a few more designs. Uh, yes, there's one or two more designs and mugs, uh, for those that don't know, they seem to be one of the most popular mm. items and they do look really good. Mm. The finished product, the product on those mugs is excellent. So go to the shop, go and check out those designs. I think I've even slipped in another t-shirt design as well. So there we go. Well, thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next week. In the meantime, subscribe <laughs> and peace like and fair winds one more for luck yeah um we have some really exciting information for our youtube users watchers viewers going to give you oh, come wait, wait, wait till he's... we have some really exciting information news and we'll let you know a little bit more more yeah do it again <laughs>